What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am here in a special studio location deep within California because guess what? I have something that is going to really shock you and electrify you because this is something you have been waiting for since we gave you an early taste last year at one of the major auto shows. This is it right here. This is your all new 2024 Volkswagen ID Buzz. And guess what? This is the long wheelbase version. But before we get into this iconic shape from an iconic German brand, let's talk about what's going on here. Volkswagen, the people's car. It goes all the way back to the 1930s, of course, but with the microbus, you're looking at 1950 with the Type 2. Now, the reason why they called it the Type 2 was because it was basically the second vehicle coming from Volkswagen after the iconic, the other legend known as the Beetle. Now, you would have to be living under a rock deep within the ocean, 20,000 leagues under the sea, to not know that we are moving towards the direction of electrification. And Volkswagen has been really laying down some groundwork, some major foundation on their ID platform of vehicles, their portfolio of vehicles, starting with the ID4. I brought you, remember, we were at CES earlier this year, and then we brought you that uncamouflaged version of the ID7 being the sedan. Now they are adding the ID Buzz. And this really is a smart formula that Volkswagen is trying to bring to people around the world with this international unveil of this vehicle to show how you could have electrification. You could definitely have that classic fun style of vehicle and you're going to have plenty of room for all your passengers because this is a seven passenger vehicle. Now, of course, there's many electrified vehicles coming to market, some big, some small and everything in between. But has Volkswagen really got something special for you with this ID Buzz long wheelbase? Let's go ahead. Let's dive into this Cabana Blue. All new colors, nothing boring, everything exciting and electrifying. So let's go ahead and find out if you should be wanting to get down to your Volkswagen dealership and get in line for one of these Volkswagen ID Buzzes. Let's go ahead and dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the style. You are not going to mistake this vehicle with anything else out on the road. And what's great is, is that you look at it and you say, what kind of is it? Is it an SUV? Is it a van? Is it a but what? And I think that's where they really hit the nail on the head. Now at the front of the business, you're going to see some great lighting. And I think that Volkswagen has already done a great job with the ID4, the ID7 when it comes to that LED lighting. And this is somewhere when you look at electrification, a lot of brands are creating identity based off of lighting on the exterior. So you're going to, of course, get that amazing LED daytime running lamp with the turn singles headlights. I love the attention to detail inside the headlight housing on the sides there, everything illuminated. And one thing to realize is how that illumination goes from driver's side to passenger side and back again. And then, of course, it culminates in the center with that Volkswagen badge fully illuminated. Now, if you're looking at this and you're saying, well, Joe, what is the size of this? Basically, you're looking about the width of an Atlas and the length of a Tiguan. So that's going to give you a little bit of idea of how this falls proportion wise. But wait until we get into the interior, because with this being a BEV and remember BEV battery electric vehicle, it's going to open up an amount of space probably unseen ever to a lot of people that have not had a chance to even get into an electric vehicle yet. Now, I like the way they're working that two-tone style. Of course, starting with the Volkswagen bus, that iconic vehicle, taking the two-tone, looking really good with the white. You got your Cabana blue, just like we brought you before previously last year. You could see the work that they did with the style. Love the way that you have the functional corner air curtains to help channel that air. Because remember, key to an electric vehicle is not just about having the largest battery. It's also about having a slippery shape. And with a vehicle that looks the way it does, you'd be quite surprised how the engineers were able to create a low drag coefficient, even with giving you tons of great room. But I love the way the white just works perfectly with the upper portion from that lower grill area. And then you, of course, like your other ID vehicles, 
have that very smart looking crisscross design. Of course, we're gonna have that liquid cooled lithium ion battery pack, 91 kilowatt. And the best news is standard, the electric motor is not up front. It is in the back, just like the original Volkswagen bus. What's nice is with the long wheelbase, you do have the option of all wheel drive and two electric motors, one up front and one at the rear. You'll notice, like we showed you before at the auto show last year, that great large greenhouse, and it's gonna give you nice visibility out the front. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? You're gonna notice 20 inch wheels, nice aero design, that machined aluminum with the gloss black. It's all about generating that airflow down the side of the vehicle, but it's also the fine details. Look at the way that they took the headlight housing and then wrapped it into that upper fender. Remember, this is an early, early pre-production, something that I always like to point out at the beginning of the reviews to let you know what you're seeing on the outside, inside. There might be a few little changes, but nothing major. Other than that, this is, like I said, your 2024 Volkswagen ID Buzz. Now, if you like standard features, this comes with a ton of them. One of those standard features is gonna be your side mirrors, power folding side mirrors. Love the way that they didn't take the white too over the top. So you have your gloss black on your mirror cap, you're gonna have your 360 degree camera and your turn single all blended in. I think one of the interesting things design wise that really allows this to be truly that descendant of the original bus with this ID Buzz is this large triangular corner window here really allows the rest of the vehicle to fall into place. And since we're talking about the rest of the vehicle from the side, you could see that extra, extra length. So when you go long wheelbase, it literally means long wheelbase. We're talking about an additional 10 inches of length with this vehicle when it comes to the wheelbase. And remember, for those that don't know, wheelbase, when you're looking at the side of the vehicle, it's gonna be the space from the front wheel and tire all the way to the rear wheel and tire. So the one that we brought you before was the shorter wheelbase version. Now what's great is, is that you're gonna get that nice, long, flat roof. And that's gonna give you a couple benefits. First of all, aesthetically, what does it look like? It looks like that original Volkswagen bus design, but it's also gonna give us lots of interior space, especially for taller people like myself. You have that battery pack along the bottom. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what about horsepower? I wanna know some horsepower numbers. So with the rear end, the rear motor, you're gonna have 282 horsepower. If you prefer to have the optional all-wheel drive, that's gonna give you a total of 330 horsepower. And of course, we will be bringing you, as we get the information about charging times and range and all that good stuff as we get closer to the official drive. Now, we do have, like the original bus, not so much exactly like the original Volkswagen bus, we do have power sliding side windows. Obviously on the original bus, it was a manual, but we do have standard power sliding doors on both sides. This is gonna allow people to have that easy access in and out, three row capability. And what's great is, is that third row is removable. Now, as I come back towards the rear, you can see how they hid the track very cleanly because of that two-tone design flows very nicely towards the rear. As we go through the vehicle, and if you are lucky enough to get one of these, you're gonna to find tons of Easter eggs, right? And a lot of them are kind of hidden and, and aren't gonna jump out all at once. One of the things that I love that I think is, is an Easter egg, believe it or not, is this design on the side. This is to kind of simulate what it was like having those air vents on the rear of the original bus. And it just ties in so nicely, so clean with the rest of the style. As we come towards the rear, you're gonna see that width. And then you're gonna see, I think one of the biggest points to, to make here is how low that bumper is. Think about when we're gonna swing open this rear door, how easy it's gonna be to get things in and out. And I think the best part too, is that what's amazing is the third row is removable. So technically you could have a two row ID buzz, but while we go ahead, it's not just about the outside, let's get inside this all new long wheelbase ID buzz and see what it's bringing. All right, guys, we are inside the 2024 Volkswagen ID Buzz long wheelbase. And one thing to remember is that the actual length of the vehicle 
is the length of the Atlas Cross Sport. The wheelbase is the same length as the Volkswagen Tiguan. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, you're getting me excited. I love what I'm seeing here. This thing looks so different, so unique. I wanna buy one, how much is it? Now, no official pricing is available yet, but wait until you hear, besides the power side, folding side mirrors, the power doors, wait until you hear what you're getting when it comes to standard features on this ID Buzz. But just like we always do, let's see what you're gonna be getting if you're rolling in one of these to the door panels. Absolutely love how they took that fun color style from the outside and brought it to the interior. Now this is just basically one way, and remember this is a pre-production, so some of these colors might be just a tad different. This is just one of many different ways to spec the interior, and they're really bringing, like I said, a nice color palette rather than just black and gray interiors. I love the soft touch material on the armrest, especially where you have that two-tone color difference. Of course, in the door pocket, you'll notice that you have your USBs, easy to get to, plus you have enough room for eight electrified Twinkies. Down below, don't worry about going in and out Burger, not having storage spaces for your food. You could easily put a couple in and out Burgers and some fries in that door pocket. Now going from the door panel to the dash, remember how I was talking about different materials? Look at this nice wood finish, the silver trim, and you'll notice how just from one side to the other, very consistent in the flow. Down below, you have more storage opportunity. Easily get a couple California bagels in here. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's a California bagel? That's where you use guacamole instead of cream cheese. And then as you slide in, this is where you're getting that new infotainment system. Same setup multimedia-wise as the new ID7, but a little bit smaller, but that's not a bad thing. 12.9 inches in size. Of course, full touchscreen capability. You have standard heated seats, ventilated seats, and massage seats. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, can I move the seats? Of course, they're 12-way adjustable. There's all our different screens. You got your different icons. Very, very intuitive on the use through the actual screen. Now, of course, along the bottom, you have your audio controls and your dual climate, easy to adjust. Working our way down, one thing I wanna see if Steven can earn his money and show is that you actually have two USB-Cs for the driver and a place to put your phone in there with that wireless charging. I like the way they integrated the AC vents. And then as you work your way down, watch this. You have some drinks, pull this down, two cup holders, easily accessible. And I love the way you could just make it disappear because with this being a BEV, a battery electric vehicle, look at that nice flat floor from one side to the other. Now I'm six feet tall and I got plenty of room in here, plenty of nice open space. You have these captain's chairs, armrests, which you could actually lock into different positions. And then you'll notice, I'll move this out of the way for Steven, you have the ability to reconfigure the actual center console. And what's really cool is these are bottle openers. So if you're having a bottle of Topo Chico while you're eating your California bagel, you could actually pop that cap very easily by using that piece right there. And then the seats, nice leatherette material, the stitching perforated. Remember, like I said, massage, full power assist, 12 way for the passenger and the driver. And then when you look up, what do we have? This massive panoramic roof. It's actually the largest panoramic roof on any Volkswagen vehicle in the history of the brand. And what's great is it's got that electromagnetic where you can make it opaque or you can make it clear all by the press of a button very, very easily. So that's the nice thing, how you're able to do that. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of the all new Buzz. All right guys, driver's side business time where you're gonna to wanna to be sitting down below the fun features with the pause and play on the brake pedal and the throttle. Look at all that nice room in the pedal box. On the side, you got all your seat controls with the memory uh, settings easy to get to and very easy to get in and out of. That's another thing I think you're really gonna enjoy. And then of course the steering wheel, flat bottom, nice material all the way around, clean, fresh look. Of course, it's a tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you have that nice digital gauge cluster like you would find on your other ID products from Volkswagen, the four and the seven. You would 
uh, control your transmission right from that column shifter there. But you know what? It's not just about the people in the front. Let's get to the mid row and the third row of this new ID Buzz. All right, guys, we got that power sliding side door on both sides. Remember, that is standard. I love the amount of room. This is where you're gonna spoil your passengers and they're just gonna get you better gifts on your birthday and for Christmas. Look at the nice engineering, the smart design. First of all, you have these pockets up top. That's gonna be a perfect place for your phone. And you know what? When you're taking a nice trip in the ID Buzz, tell your kids to put the phone there and not look at it and enjoy the experience of being in this vehicle. We have these amazing trays that really show you the versatility and the fun factor with how this vehicle is set up. I'm sitting here, plenty of room, AC controls, easy to get to, AC vents, seats are great, and that the fact that you could fit three across is fantastic. But you know what? We have more, one more row to do, and I know you want me to get back there, so let's get in the third row of the new ID Buzz. All right, guys, third row time. You guys would have killed me if I did not show you what's going on back here. And this is really where the ID Buzz long wheelbase earns its money, being able to spoil your third row passenger. A lot of time in vehicles, the third row passenger is like a peasant. You take your kid that you hate the most, that upsets you the most, and you throw them in the third row because you don't want to see them. But what's nice is this is where everybody feels that they're getting a great experience with the ID Buzz. And the fact that this mid row folds down flat, 60, 40, and remember this rear seat folds plus it's removable, but guess what? I wanna open up the rear hatch and show you the last part of the ID Buzz. Hey guys, the last piece of the puzzle, love on the back, that ID Buzz, that Volkswagen badge, you hit the button, nice electric assist. Remember, standard, you don't have to worry about getting a manual rear cargo area hatch. And then what you're gonna find is a very flexible, versatile space. It's almost like a Swiss army knife where you could configure this 20 different ways from Sunday because rear seats are removable. You have this really cool platform area that you could adjust and then look at how we have these nice storage bags of course with our charging accessories that you could easily stow and have out of the way you got a 12 volt and i forgot to point out in that third row you do have usb c's for those third row passengers as well but i'm going to jump up hit that let me know what you think we got to wrap it up i can't wait to bring you the first drive of this id buzz long wheelbase but let me know in that comment section how you feel about what Volkswagen has brought as we walk back to the front with this vehicle. Is it checking off all the boxes for you? What do you feel that they left out? Let me know in that comment section. But of course, we gotta thank everybody at Volkswagen for allowing us access to this exciting all new vehicle. If you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rights family. Of course, we got to thank Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography, making the magic happen. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.